Hey YouTube, RP here, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna show you today how to get your plastic parts to look like aluminum and to get the ones that have color to really pop and shine. So stay tuned, we're gonna cover more on this R2 project, show you how to do it. So this is my process. Here you can see there's a just a primed piece and then a finished piece ready for paint. I start with 600 grit sandpaper, dry sand it, just get it smooth, then move up. I go to 1000 grit. Again, this is your preference. You could go to 800, 1000, but I just go to the next layer up, uh, level up of sandpaper, and then I go to 2000 and rinse and repeat, and just smooth it all out. And you'll notice that once that process is done, you have a very shiny, smooth surface. Simply rinse and repeat for the rest of your pieces to get them ready for paint. I did this exact same method, dry sanding, on the dome. So here we have the dome. And again, same method. Start out with 600 grit sandpaper on a nice primed surface. And uh, you want to just take your time and work through this process and this is a labor of love. So we'll speed this up and you can see now the unfinished part and the finished. And when I say finished, finished with the 600 grit sandpaper. So we're just knocking down the primer, getting it smooth, and we're gonna continue to work our way up on the um, sandpaper. Uh, we'll go to a thousand grit. Then once we've done the entire dome there, we'll go then to a 2000 grit and just keep going around the dome until it's uh, absolutely complete so here we are we're going to do a thousand grit and uh, just go around the entire dome and just take your time and it uh, you know once you hit the thousand grit you can now go to the 2000 grit and you're going to you know just take your time polish it down and get it nice and even that uh, is what we're really looking for. And then once you finish that process, you can see that there's a nice, smooth service. So this is going to accept paint extremely well. Um, and that's really the, uh, the idea. Um, the smoother your surface, the smoother the paint. And people are gonna ask you, wow, how did you get that type of a finish? Um, in some cases, it's really automotive worthy uh, it it really can be that good so take your time with this and enjoy it okay i'm going to walk you through the paints that i've used in this uh, process for the silver um, i'm using this rust-oleum uh, metallic aluminum it's uh it's a paint that covers extremely well and uh, it's gonna be a good base for the pie pieces on the R2 dome, as well as the dome itself. Um, for the pie pieces, I'm using this Duplicolor Perfect Match. Uh, you can see the name there. I don't know if you can. It's called Sonic, Sonic Blue Pearl, right up there. So uh, this is not cheap, but it's a highly recommended color for the R2 Blue. So um, I would, uh, I mean, you can use another, you can use a different color, it's fine. Um, this is just what I use. And then um, for the uh, dome on top of the metallic um, aluminum paint, uh, I use this half ounce, uh, it's not even a half, yeah, it's a half an ounce. Yeah, half an ounce uh, tube of rub and buff. And it literally, does what the product is called you you rub it and buff it out and i'm telling you a, you you think well that's not enough a little goes a long ways and um you can see that it's uh it's like a kind of a paste um, like a toothpaste and what this is is a wax based product with silver uh leafing filament coloring 
and you simply apply just a little, and I'll show you how to do this, onto a microfiber towel or uh, a leather, maybe a leather strap, of, a leftover leather strap that you have from a project, something that will create friction where you can rub and polish this into the paint. And um, I don't seal or clear coat the rub and buff, I just leave it. And for the pie pieces, I'm using this Duplicolor uh, 1K Clear High Gloss. And let me show you now how all of these products uh, are now used onto our 3D print pieces that are ready for paint. Okay, um, we're going to now spray the dome and I'm just going to blow this to get any dust off and then we'll put on some our first coat of metallic aluminum. White coat. Here we go with our second white coat. You can see how the dome turned out. Uh, extremely shiny. I haven't even uh, clear coated this, which I'm not going to. I am now going to apply a, um, it's, a it's a product called Rub and Buff, which enhances that aluminum look even more. But you can tell that this turned out uh, really, really nice, very smooth, very consistent in the application of the paint. Um, I'm really pleased with it. It looks great and it, uh, it shines really, really nicely. So uh, I'll show you how we apply the rub and buff to this silver metallic aluminum and what that's going to look like. Okay, this stuff is amazing. Um, the finish and the sanding have made this extremely smooth. We're now going to spray this Sonic uh, Blue, I think it's Sonic Pearl, uh, onto these pie pieces that have a metallic aluminum. Uh, you shouldn't be doing this in the wind. There's a little wind. Um, oh well. <laughs> Um, this blue needs to be applied on metallic in order for it to get the appropriate shine and color. So we are going to put about three coats and it'll be about 10 minutes between each coat um, until we get the, uh, the perfect consistency and color. So here we go. Okay, so we have the first coat on. Um, you can tell it's very light. You can still see the silver, uh, which is what you want. Uh, this is the same method that I used on my Iron Man suit, but I did it with an anodized red. Um, the can spattered a little bit. Usually this Duplicolor is pretty good and it doesn't uh, usually spit like that. I don't think that's gonna be too big of a problem. I can fix that. <clears throat> but um, we'll let this dry for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and hit it with a second coat. Here we have our second coat. It's looking pretty nice. Um, yeah, I am happy with how this is coming out. Uh, probably another coat or two and this should be good. Here's what uh, one of them looks like in the sun. You can see it's got a really nice, a really nice color to it. I really like how this um, brings out kind of the metallic color, and but it's a perfect R2 blue. So this is gonna look really nice.
Okay, so I was uh, not thinking, and I did not film um, spraying or clear coating the Sonic blue color. But this is applying the Duplicolor 1K high gloss to the um, the spray pie pieces. I'm going to grab one of these pieces that are not sprayed right now. So this one is not clear coated. This one is. You can clearly see the difference. That clear coat just puts an amazing shine. That's not clear coated. That is clear coated. So this Sonic Blue Pearl, if you think that it looks a little dull, it's okay. Just hang in there and get that clear coat on. It'll give you the perfect shine. We're gonna apply a little of this rub and buff on this dome. And we're just going to work this in. And gotta be careful not to make a, an absolute mess here. But you just take a little bit of this and work it into the piece and just simply um, rub and get that all worked in. So I'm going to do this right now and then show you what this is going to look like. Here we go. Rub and buff is on. The pie pieces have been at least on the top, except for the middle one, have been painted. And that rub and buff looks just like aluminum. It looks awesome. There's a nice shine in there, just like aluminum. You've got the texture, just like aluminum. That looks absolutely awesome. Super cool. That's it. Um, I've got uh, a lot of other pieces that I have to uh, work this process through. And I mean, I've got pieces that are all over the place. You can see I have eye, eye piece. Um, I mean, this is just for the dome. All of these have to be sanded. They have to be primed. They have to go through that entire process. There's a lot of post-production on this. Um, I just had a, another uh, piece of the body, just finished printing. Uh, I've got over here on my uh, other printer, three other sections of the body. I have uh, more sections of the body printing here. Um, help me, there, there's so much that's printing. I, I can't keep up with the printing. Um, yeah, but uh, it'll be fun. Um, I hope this video you found helpful. Please like, please subscribe, uh, ask me any questions. I'd be happy to uh, respond and help you any way I can, uh, but just make this fun. Um, it's been a fun journey for me, and I'm excited to continue uh, moving through this journey. So I will continue to post videos as I get uh, more progress done on this and uh, take you along for the ride. Thanks.